it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plans and today I wanted to do a really quick video showing you how I make my pictures um, the right size that I use for my memory planner um, whether it be for the weekly and the monthly page where I punch out with a punch um, and then I'll show you you know what they look like how I get them um, from the store and all that good stuff but I just wanted to do a really quick video because this is like my most number one question is how do I print my pictures? Um, so this is how. So um, I use the app Photo Grid. It is one of my favorite apps. I've been using it since, I've pretty much been using it since I started. Um, I think it took me a while to find this one. Um, but I've definitely been using it for at least five plus years now. So um but it's my go-to app, um, and it's really quite simple to use once you get to the hang of it. They did change a few things, like they did update a few things that I'm still getting used to, um, but overall, it is pretty easy to use. Um, so, the first thing I do is um, I go to this grid. It's the little blue one over here. I click on that, and then it's going to open up your pictures. Now, what I like to do is I like to keep a folder down over here I like to keep a folder down in the bottom left corner you can see it says one print that just keeps it like at the top of my um, folders like for my phone my phone gallery um, and that just helps me I put all the pictures that I have to print for the week in this folder that way when I'm going to print my pictures I'm not having to like go in and out of different folders find different things it just makes it a lot easier for me um, and so this last week I didn't have that many pictures so sometimes this is like filled with like 40 something pictures it just kind of depends but from here I can go in and I can click on the pictures that I want to use and if you're not sure if that's the one you want to use you can click on it um, to make it bigger or whatever that may be um, but this is all I had for this week so first let's show you how I do um, the pictures that I print for my monthly, which I use a punch, and I think it's a two-inch punch. Somebody asked me, um, I think it's an inch and a half or two inches. I'm honestly not sure because it doesn't say on the punch. Um, I'd have to go to the store and double check what size and, like, actually look at one. But I know it's, like, the bigger one, so I do know that. Um, but I want to say it's, like, w between one and a half. I want to say it's, like, one and a half around there, whatever that size might be. Um, so for this, I get to put 12 photos on a five by seven. So I'm just gonna click on photos and I don't even have, I don't even have enough from this week to do 12 photos, but I'm just gonna click on them. So I actually have 11. So I'm just gonna click on one twice and that will get me to 12. Then I'm going to click the next button and it's going to bring me to this and it's already put them in a little grid for me but it's not the right size and I also have this watermark down here. So I'm going to click on the watermark. I'm going to go over to photo grid and then I'm going to click this little like stop thing. I don't know what the actual name of that is. But I'm going to click that and it's going to take away um, that icon that was down in the bottom right corner. Then from there I'm going to go to ratio. And I'm going to go over until I see 5 by 7 or 7 by 5. So I'm going to click on the 7 by 5. And then there we go. So it's all set up from here. I can click on a picture, kind of adjust it if I need to. Sometimes I zoom. So like say if I want to focus more on the kiddo's face, I can click on it and I can zoom. They've like made it harder. There we go. And I can like zoom in on her face. So this is the size that I use to cut um, like the circles or hearts or whatever shape I have. And that's what I put in my monthly. And then I would just click save. I'm not going to do it because I already have one. But then from there, I would just click save. And then it would save it to my phone. Um, so I'm going to go out of this. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to click on this and click clear all. And that's a simple way to just clear if you change your mind. Now, to do my pictures that I do for my weekly spread, I'm only going to choose four photos and I'm actually going to show you a couple different ways that I do this because sometimes I make the pictures a little bit bigger but let's just do it with four so I'm going to click on four pictures okay so four pictures just like that those are the only ones I would and I think those are the only ones that I did do I'm going to go through all those same steps again so I'm going to click on the photo grid go to photo grid click that so that way it takes away the watermark then I'm going to go to ratio now the thing with this is oh my gosh they added a four by six Okay, you guys, this is new. 
So before, I'm going to show you how I used to do it, but they literally just updated the app and now I can't point to it. So that's kind of annoying. I'll try to put a circle on it when I edit this, but now they have a four by six and a six by four, which they didn't used to have before. They did not used to have that. So that is new. That's a new update. I used to go here to custom and it's in pixels, which I had to figure out what the pixels were for a four by six, but I used to do the pixels. So if I do this, it's 1200 by 1800, then it would make it in a four by six. But now you guys, you guys get it easy. I'm going to click the four by six button. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. They actually have a four by six button now, and I'm so excited, you guys. It took them five years to do that. Before this changed to pixels, I used to be able to just put four by six um, when it was still in inches, but it recently changed to pixels, and I'm just now noticing that they actually have a four by six, so I'm so stinking excited. Oh my gosh, because they used to only have the four by five, and I was like, that doesn't help me. Um, but now they have four by six, so that is freaking exciting. Okay, so I would click on that. Then there we go. I could adjust the photos if I wanted to, and then I'd click save, and then that's how I would send it. Now, say I need a picture to be a little wider, like I want to do a double wide. Um, I don't really know if I have a great picture for a double wide in here, but let's just see. So let's say I want to do one of those photos as a double wide. So then I'm only going to pick three photos. So let's do these three because I don't really know what else to do. Going through my same steps, take out the watermark. And if you buy, like if you pay for the app, I think the watermark just like isn't there. But I don't, I haven't paid for the app. I've been able to use it for five years and not have to pay for the app. So it's definitely not necessary. But you do get a couple, like you do get to be able to do extra things. Like they have backgrounds that you can download and, you know, fun things like that. But I haven't really found a need to use that. So I'm going to go back and change this back to four by six. Now this isn't a layout that I want to use. So I'm going to go over here to layout and I'm going to choose this first one that has one long one and then two squares. So I'm going to choose that. And then now we need to resize. So the only bad thing about this is it's not like exact. I'm kind of, I've always just kind of gone like where I think the middle is. Um, and for the most part, it's worked out. I haven't really had any issues with that. Um, but say I want this photo to be the photo that is bigger. So I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to click this button that says swap. And then I'm going to select another picture and it's just going to swap it. So now I have my two normal size pictures down here that would just be in one square in my big happy planner. And then this one would be enough to cover two squares. So that's kind of just how I do that part. There, after I saved all my pictures, I would go to the Walgreens app, and this is the app that I use to send my pictures to. I used to send my pictures to Costco, but now they don't print pictures in store anymore, and they only do shipping, and if I want, if I want my pictures, like, anytime soon, uh, that doesn't work for me. So I go to the app. The app usually has a coupon code. Um, it used to be 30% off. They dropped it to 25%. But I found if you just go to Google and you type in Walgreens 50% off coupon, you can usually find, you know, one of those sites that gives you coupons for free. Um, and usually I can find a 50% off. So I've started using that. But before I used to only use a 25. But then I would just go to print. I would go to my device. Now all I would do is go in, add my photos, and then I would check out and send them to my closest Walgreens store. So that is just a simple way. Um, hopefully that helps you guys and you don't have to send. I mean, I know there's a lot of other places. Like I know Walmart would be a lot cheaper to send my photos to, but Walmart isn't close to me and I would have to walk all the way to the back of the store. And if I don't necessarily need to go to Walmart for anything, that's kind of a pain in the butt to me to walk all the way to the back of the store to go get my pictures and then leave, especially with my kiddo, at least like at Walgreens, like I can usually just run in and then go out or Walgreens also has where you can like pick up your pictures at the pharmacy and I can just go through the drive through. So usually when I have the kiddo with me, that's the option that I'll do. Um, and then of course, when it was at Costco, the photo center was right at the front of the store. So I could literally just like run in, go to the photo center and then peace out. Um, so definitely just any store that does 
pictures. Um, I just prefer sending them somewhere else. I do have a Canon selfie. Um, actually, I did. I actually threw it away because it broke and it stopped printing and stopped doing anything. So I actually got rid of it. But the quality just was never where I wanted it to be, which is why I stopped using it. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that helps you. Let me show you what my pictures look like now that they're printed. Okay, so I recently just picked up my pictures, and then this is, these are the only ones that I got, but I have my, um, this is the 5x7 that I had printed, and then this is the 4x6 that I had printed of my pictures. So, pretty simple, and then all I will do is take my paper cutter, and I will go in, and then I just cut them, pretty simple. I got Amber and myself like a friendship bracelet, so that's what our random leg picture is. <laughs> um, but I'll just go in and then I'll just trim them. Easy peasy. And then with this guy, I'll show you. Let me get my planner. So here is my, what month are we in? July? Okay, so here's my monthly. And then here's the picture. So I want to say these are an inch and a half. Do I have, uh, I don't even have a, okay, I do have a ruler over here. I was like, do I? Maybe these are an inch. I think it's an inch punch, but it's a little bit more than an inch. So I want to say it's an inch and a half for these punches. So these are the punches that I use. They're from Fiskar, but it doesn't say on it like what size it is. So I'm going to go with that it's a, um, one and a half according to my ruler <laughs> that circle is about one and a half inches so that's the size that I'm gonna say but then all you do then that's like the perfect size for that size to cut it and then I can just go in and then I just punch them I don't really remember what all these days were from and I didn't take a lot of pictures so I do have to use some of the pictures that I took of like random things um, I think this was on Friday. No, that was on Thursday night. Um, and then Sunday. And this was from Saturday. And then I do have to use some scissors, which I don't have my good scissors over here. I have my kiddo scissors. Um, but sometimes to get to the middle ones, I do have to just like trim them. And then I can go in and punch. Just like that. And then that's how I do that set I just take my glue my, my glue my tape runner good lord just take my tape runner and I just stick all my pictures down where they're supposed to go so hopefully that is helpful to you that's exactly that's all I do um again I like sending them out just because the quality has always been better and I can get five by seven you can't get a 5 by 7 with a Canon selfie. I don't know if there's like one that prints bigger, but the one that I had, the biggest it printed was 4 by 6 and even then it was a little bit smaller than the 4 by 6 So I just didn't like, I just really didn't like the quality of it. And I'd much rather go to a store, especially I literally have a Walgreens like one minute away from my house. So it's not like I'm going super out of my way to go get my pictures. And with a 50% off coupon, I usually pay like two sometimes on heavy weeks of like I have a lot of pictures I pay like maybe three dollars three like under five dollars a week for my pictures which could be like up to 20 bucks a month but it just depends on how many pictures I took that week and if I needed all those pictures um but there you go you guys so hopefully that is helpful photo grid app Walgreens app print them out that's all I do pretty simple. Hopefully that helps you guys if you're wanting to do pictures. Um, it's actually pretty easy. Um, and then this punch, I think all the ones that I have of these, cause I have a regular circle. I have this one and then I have a heart. Um, I haven't used the heart in a long time, but it just never looks like as good when you cut out the pictures. Um, but yeah, so that's what I use. So hopefully that helps you guys. Hopefully this video helps you. Like I said, this is the like number one question I get, um, with my memory planning is how do I do my pictures, all that good stuff. That's exactly how. So hopefully that helps you guys. I so hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.